there, Nate here again with the Volunteer Tech Vlog. Thanks for tuning into this video. Um, thanks for coming along for the ride. In this video, I will be talking about, um, continuing the, the conversation rather, uh, about signal flow. So we talked about how to turn your system on and off properly. We've talked about basic, basic premise of signal flow and how it's why it's important to know your flow or understand your signal flow. Now the next piece of that is documenting your signal flow. So we will be talking about three ways that you can document your system. Now designing a system is one thing, properly designing a system, that's, that's, that's a whole skill set. And then properly documenting the system, um, that's, another, that's another question, that's another skill set actually. And um, not always as intuitive as uh, you might think it should be. But anyway, I'll be giving you three um, methods or putting out, throwing out there three methods um, for you to, uh, to, to possibly document your system. So um, to tell you where I'm coming from, um, I do system drawings for a living. That's, that's what I do every day, all week. So um, being uh, commercial, uh, in the commercial integration world, um, historically, I've been the CAD guy. I started off at HB Communications out of Boston, and I was a, a draft, a drafter, or a draftsman, or a drafts person. We started hiring females uh, to do uh, to do drafting. So, like, my title changed from like draftsman to like drafts person. We had, uh, we had girls on the team. I guess a girl can't be a draftsman. Yeah, it's just, I think it's just a lingo thing. But anyway, I was the guy who used AutoCAD. So that's the first method I'm going to throw out there. And that's, that's the most expensive one. AutoCAD by um, Autodesk is very expensive. But that is like the industry standard. If you, um, you know, if the, the, the new lifes of the world, the Willow Creeks of the world, the Saddlebacks of the world, the, um, the Christ Fellowships of the world, um, chances are they've hired a company to come in and they've, as part of their requirement, they have CAD drawings, very technical uh, documentations that include audio, video, control signal flows, rack elevations, power flows, um, uh, architectural layouts, wall elevations, the you know, section views, all, all types of uh, very technical drawings that, that um, document the system in great detail. And Auto, AutoCAD is kind of like an architectural um, based software. And so like architects we use a lot um, and building planners and coordinators <clears throat> we use that. That's kind of like the industry standard, like that's what you use, right? Um, and you, you, you might have other things like BIM and Revit and stuff like that for, for doing more uh, collaborative uh, building designs, but that's kind of getting away from signal flows. The big, the big, the big thing here is um, Auto, AutoCAD is kind of like the top dog, but it's also expensive and it's time consuming because it has capabilities that go probably beyond what you need for just doing a 2D signal flow. Um, so you might get AutoCAD Lite. I've always used AutoCAD Lite for signal flow. There's, there's not really much of a reason to use, uh, to do 3D uh, AutoCAD work in the, in the signal flow world. Uh, I've never really seen a, a need for it uh, in my experience over the years. So that's, that's, that's one thing that's out there. <clears throat> the next thing I would throw out there is Visio. So Visio is another popular um, software, not quite as expensive as AutoCAD, not as capable as AutoCAD, but it's a little bit more user friendly. Um, and the nice thing about Visio is you can share that document with somebody and they can open it up in like Windows Explorer and or the Internet Explorer a web web application there and so that's kind of a nice feature with AutoCAD if you send a, an AutoCAD file to somebody you'll need to you know create that create a PDF of, of that file and then send the PDF and then obviously once it's a PDF format you can't really alter it um, so method two with Visio well, that's still pretty much the same thing you, you can send a Visio file to somebody um, they're not going to really be able to alter it unless they have the Visio software. However, they could they could open it up. Um, either you'd make a PDF, or they could actually open up that Visio source file and read it. So that's one little nuance of Visio is it does open up in Windows Explorer. Um, 
So depending on your church, maybe you've got the resources to have an in-house CAD guy or an in-house Visio guy, and that makes sense for you based on your, your requirements. It might be something to consider, but chances are, if you're like me, part of a, a volunteer uh, tech team, having somebody um, that has the time to put into keeping uh, system drawings and signal flows up to date uh, then becomes a challenge because you know once you once you do the drawing once that's a that's a stamp in time of how the system is and six months down the road you might get a new piece of gear in there when other drawings need to be updated and so it's something that um, needs to be tended to and kept up and if you do that it makes troubleshooting a lot easier because you've got a reference point to go back to um, so that's why I would say this third suggestion, we've talked about AutoCAD, we've talked about Visio, um, AutoCAD being very expensive, Visio being a little bit less expensive, but both very time consuming and you've got to buy special software. Uh, honestly, what I've just started doing recently is using Google Sheets. So I just, I just go on my Google Drive account and I open up a spreadsheet and you can get pretty creative with, um, with the boxes and with shading the different boxes um, and kind of making a, you know, a signal flow out of a spreadsheet. And it doesn't look as pretty as maybe something you could do with AutoCAD or Visio, but what it does do is it allows you to collaborate and share uh, that signal flow with, with all the members of your team and all they need is a Google account. They don't need to have some sort of special you know, $500, $1,000 software. And yes, it doesn't have nearly the complexity that you might get out of those $500, $1,000, um, $2,000 pieces of software. But what it does have is, is nimbleness, right? You can, you can go in there and tweak it on your lunch break and share it with the group and you can create PDFs pretty, pretty easily from Google Sheets. And so I'll put a link to, um, to our video signal flow that I did that's a work in progress, but I went down and I documented the system and I'm glad I did because there was some stuff going on that I, I honestly, I wasn't aware of. There was, this, there was a splitter in the system that I did not know existed and ended up causing some all kinds of EDID issues. Uh, I thought the EDID was being managed by one device and it turns out there was another device plugged in upstream of the EDID manager and there was, there was all kinds of funny stuff happening there, so. Oh man, nice Jake breaks there. <clears throat> That'll sound good in the video. Anyway, um, so I, I hope that helps you guys out. I've seen this question come up time and time again in the uh, the Church Sound and Media Tech community on Facebook. And so I just wanted to throw out three options to, uh, to document your signal flow, to document your system. And I'll put a link to uh, the example of, of the video flow that I did. Um, in the description of this video. If you want a, a link to it, I'll just share share that PDF with you guys. Um, so I hope hope this, this helps you out. It's important to know your flow, but it's also important to, to document that, that signal flow. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.